trick in which he first tells his assistants to encircle the train car by holding each other's hands. The assistants then cover the car with a huge cloth and hide it from everyone. Thereafter, he makes the train car to float up in the air and then pulls up the cloth cover as it falls onto the ground. The train car magically vanishes into thin air. The trick behind this famous illusion lies in the fact that the car is pulled out of the cloth and is rolled off on the railways behind few light towers. Well, the huge cloth was placed onto a large metal frame, which is the same shape as the roof of the car. The metal frame was then held in the air, supported by strong cables. The frame was designed to fit exactly onto the top of the car, and this frame was the one covered with a cloth while the car moves under it. Finally, the cloth is pulled onto the ground while the frame remains hidden away from the lights to make this famous illusion possible. Brazilians surely know how to play football, but when Dynamo, the famous magician, is in town after the player passes the ball to Dynamo, here you can see him magically levitating the ball in air and then completes his move while everyone seems to be in total disbelief. So. How did he magically levitate the ball in the air? When the dribbler passes the ball to Dynamo, now, just before this moment, the camera cuts away. Yes, during that time, the exchange of the ball took place with the person behind him. Also, notice how this person hides the original ball, and once he realizes that he's on camera, he runs away from the view. Coming to the gimmick ball, it has strings attached to it. Obviously, it's impossible to attach the string straight up, as this would interfere with his head or chest. So, the strings are attached this way, held onto that ball. Now, Dynamo stretches the strings to lift the ball up. Here, he pulls the strings outwards as the ball starts levitating upwards. Finally, when he snaps the string, an impulsive force acts on the ball and the string simultaneously breaks, which makes it seem as if the ball was indeed levitating in mid-air. Many famous magicians have performed this trick where they magically appear smoke by rubbing their fingers. Are their fingers really smoking in this trick? Well, for the fact, smoke is just fine particulates of carbon that are visible in the air. In this trick, the particulates are phosphorus, the material that Matchbox striker strips are made from. The striker strips are made from red phosphorus, which, after burning, rearranges its molecules into white phosphorus. So, the magician places this unstable white phosphorus in between his fingers. Now, when he rubs his fingers, the white phosphorus is oxidized by the oxygen in the air into phosphorus oxide and appears as white smoke to create this amazing effect. Dirk Losander is one such magician who surely knows how to float things up in the air. On the famous Penn & Teller show, you can see him floating the table in midair with such ease. He even lights up a candle in one of his moves. Finally, he covers the table with another cloth and then magically vanishes it altogether. Quite easy to lift up. There's a thin metallic wire or something along his arm that he uses to make it float. He hides that wire inside the cloth and uses it most of the time to float the weightless table in the air. In one of the moves, the candle, which is magnetic, just barely lifts the table at one point when he lets go of the wire. But how did the table vanish at the end? The table is also collapsible, and here you can see him activating the mechanism where the springs pull it together under the cloth to make this amazing illusion possible. And Dom Chambers, the Aussie magician, proved to everyone that he had a great beer trick up his sleeve when he amazed everyone on the biggest stage of all, America's Got Talent. Here's what he did. Dom starts his trick by showing everyone that the paper bag is empty, then he produces a glass of beer from that paper bag. Thereafter, he keeps on producing more glasses of beer, sometimes from the sleeve of his jacket and sometimes from behind the table placed on stage where he performs quite a few cool tricks. Also to bring variety to his trick, he even produces a tiny bottle of wine from the bag and magically converts it into a bigger sized bottle. He takes off his right leg shoe and tells everyone that where there's a coaster, there's a beer. So in this act, before producing a beer, he always reveals a coaster. Then he lifts the paper bag to find nothing inside. Then all of a sudden, he brings out a glass of beer from inside that shoe. 
Finally, after taking out his jacket and doing a few tricks on that table, he takes out his shoe and then an empty glass out of that paper bag. To end this trick on a high note, he tilts the shoe, there's beer flowing out of the shoe, which he pours inside the empty glass and finally drinks the beer to amaze everyone around. Also, without that table placed on stage, this trick wouldn't have been possible. So this table also plays a major role in this trick. In his act, Dom produces quite a few glasses of beer. Where do they come from? Yes, there's a hidden shelf behind that table, and a few beer glasses were concealed inside the pocket of his jacket. But still, producing them at the right time involves a lot of skill, one by one. Now, the beer coasters are very easy to reveal as they can be easily concealed inside the paper bags or in his jacket. Let's first look at how he produces a glass of beer from that empty bag. For this part, the paper bag you see has a cut at its other side, which he concealed from the audience. Now, the cut in this bag allows his hand to easily reach near his jacket's pocket and bring out a glass of beer. Here, if you look closely, he's holding that glass of beer, which he finally reveals to the audience. Similarly, for the repeat performance, he places his left hand near the right side of his jacket and pulls out a glass of beer from the pocket and then places it in the paper bag before revealing it to the audience. For the next part of the trick, Dom brings out a tiny bottle of wine from that paper bag and converts it into a bigger one. Here, he didn't bring that tiny bottle from the bag. The tiny bottle was already concealed in his right hand fist, which he must have pulled out from one of his pockets. That's the reason he takes everyone's attention towards the paper bag. Now for the transformation, the bigger sized bottle is inside his left sided pocket. He pulls everyone's attention towards the bag, and using his left hand pulls that wine bottle from the jacket and holds it behind his hand. Then suddenly, he pulls out that wine bottle to create the illusion of the bottle being transformed. The tiny bottle is still in his right hand fist, as he enjoys drinking the wine. Now, what about the tricks involving his shoe? Well, after taking out his shoe and revealing the coaster, there's a moment when he gets behind the table. At this moment, he pulls out a glass of beer from the shelf behind that table and puts it inside the shoe. The glass of beer is now concealed inside the shoe, which he finally brings out to amaze everyone around. Thereafter, he produces another glass of beer which was hidden and loosely attached inside the back of his jacket as he pulls it out and reveals it from inside the sleeve while taking out the jacket. Now, the tricks he does behind the table involve sleight of hand as he pulls out each glass of beer from the table's shelf and then conceals it behind the paper bag and that table before revealing it. Here, he's holding a glass of beer in his left hand behind that bag and he's also grabbing that bag with his index finger and this is how he produces the glass of beer. Now coming to the final part, how did the beer come out of his shoe? Well, there was a moment when he was behind that table when he grabs a bag behind that table, inside which there is a shoe and an empty glass. Now, the shoe he grabs is another gimmick shoe which has a compartment built in to hold the beer. Then Dom reveals his shoe and an empty glass from the paper bag and points it towards his feet. But now you know it, the shoe he's holding is not his original shoe, and is the gimmick shoe which he had switched with the original one behind the table. Finally, he pours beer from the shoe into that empty glass and drinks it to end this amazing trick, 